to the tiny home. I'm Jason from Tiny Home and Grown. This is the Fisher Creek model. First thing you notice when you walk in, it's nice and bright, shiplap throughout, gives you a big open feel and leads nicely into the open kitchen. Pusher block counters, there's over 16 feet of usable counter space. Plenty of room for a coffee bar, any uh, kitchen appliances that you would need. Lots of usable storage space. All of the drawers and hardwares are soft clothes. There's a 7.3 cubic feet fridge. All the appliances are stainless. You've got a nice 30 inch gas range here, large enough to cook a full turkey. Nice deep farm style sink with some drying racks. The counter space has adjustable LED lights, um, which are nice because you can change the temperature on them or change the direction on them. We have an on-demand propane hot water heater from Precision Temp under the sink here, and it's more than enough to run hot water in your bathroom and kitchen. More storage here under the other side of the stove with the microwave. The butcher block countertops extend here into a bar top area that you could put some stools under and have either as a dining area or a workspace. And so that's the kitchen. Let's go check out the bathroom. So the bathroom has a nice locking privacy sliding door. The bathroom's actually surprisingly big for a tiny home. It's roughly six by eight. First thing you'll see, you've got a combination washer dryer, flushable toilet, fully plumbed in, and you've got a nice vanity mirror. And the shower is subway tile with a weedy shower system. It's built specifically to be in a tiny home, the grout won't crack. The overall shower is three by almost four feet and even have enough headspace. I'm a little bit over six feet tall. In any tiny home, storage is at a premium. So you've got nice pull-out drawers under the under the stairs here for shoes or whatever. The floors in this tiny home are actually hands-on black walnut on the stairs and throughout the second level. I was able to keep the live edge going here on the walkway. One of the nice things about this model is that the walkway here is actually a split level design and it gives you standing room on the upper level so that you can have room to get changed and access the master loft without having to crawl around on your knees. The master bedroom, big enough for a queen size bed. And because of the split level floor, you have walk-in room on both sides of the bed. There's a built-in cupboard, his and her closet, with four uh, deep self-closing drawers, as well as a cubby and a storage bin. So lots of room to keep your clothes. Most of the windows are crank out style, um, which is really nice. Gives you a nice cross breeze, um, lots of fresh air, but it also allows you to keep windows open if it's rainy. On the other side, you've got a full egress window. You get lots of natural light coming into the bedroom. The last space in the tiny home is the spare bedroom. It's roughly six by eight, so it's large enough to put a spare bed in there if you wanted to, or you could use it as storage or an office space. On the main floor, you've got luxury vinyl planking, so it's waterproof, really wear resistant. Under the walkway, there's a little bit over eight feet, so large enough for a couch, storage shelf over the wheel wells. In this tiny home, we have a Cooper Hunter mini split. It's 12,000 BTU, so it does your heating and cooling, and it does a really good job. In the ceilings, we've got 12 LED can lights throughout, and then a, a maple panel ceiling. Ties together really well with the shiplap, and overall gives you a really nice, open, and bright feel for the 